murder. I was actually charged with murder. I was facing a life sentence. But the jury came back in yeah. their deliberation with a manslaughter verdict. And a manslaughter in Louisiana carries zero to 40. I was given 30. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. But Mac, so, how, how much time did they like give you? When, and mm -hmm. I, cause we didn't get to that part, but and I, I didn't mean to cut you off. But I'm just trying to figure out, like, when they convicted you. Yeah, and, I was convicted and, and, and of you, manslaughter. And you, you had to? Did you cop a plea? You had to? No. I, they gave you. The judge gave you. Yeah, you I was innocent. Of you said I'm innocent all, all the way, way to through. the end. All the way to the end. Just like yeah. Uh, the jury. I was actually charged with murder. I was facing a life sentence, but the jury came back in yeah. their deliberation with a manslaughter verdict. And a manslaughter in Louisiana carries zero to forty. I was given thirty. And um and you tried appealing and all of that. Yeah, I tried yeah, everything. He ended up everything going, was denied. Twenty twenty one 21 years and uh I was pardoned by the governor, by Governor Edwards. So wow. thank but you, Gov America. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Governor Edwards. Yeah, was, uh, but after but all of that, one thing I wanted to know because a lot of people when you think about being wrongly convicted and that you are there, how angry were you when you were in prison and how long did it take for you to get over that anger? Um, so the weird thing is, um, I probably was angry momentarily. Really? Momentarily. When I first got in that, that cell, there were a few things that I prayed for. It was, it was a couple things that I prayed for. And I'm not I'm not a big religious person, but I do pray. Um, I what I have prayed, and I do. Um, one of them, the main thing was that I didn't want to become black-hearted. I didn't want to become black-hearted. Um, that was the main thing, and you know, I didn't want to be bitter mm -hmm. because I have I have seen what happens to bitter people. Yeah, she don't, she don't so um, my question to you is Why you were in prison Were you angry um, Because anybody in their right mind Wrongly convicted Would be angry out of their mind um, While they're in there And if you were How long did it take you to get over it All right. Initially I, w I, was, I was very angry initially Okay You know but I deal with anger um, differently, different. I, I deal with it internally. You know, I try and I try my best not to um, display anger. Okay. I just kind of deal with it inwardly, and it's painful. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm not a big religious person, but I do pray. And one of the things, and most important things, I prayed for while incarcerated was I I, I prayed, you know, just to not be black hearted. I didn't want to be. Um, Bitter. bitter. I didn't want to be mad at the world because, you know, bitter is self-consuming. I mean, bitterness is self-consuming, and I, I didn't want to be that person that's just mad at the world because of what happened to me. Did you have children at that time? Yes, my my son's mother was was six months pregnant when I was arrested. Wow. So by the time I was convicted, my son was one, almost two. Oh, so you were able to see him being born? No. Oh no! Okay, you were no. Right. When okay. I was arrested, she was six months okay. pregnant. Okay, because I didn't know if you came out on so, bond or anything. No, like I that. never. They you never. never they denied bond. Everything. Oh. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one.